In this video, we'll figure out the number of atoms in Na2S2O3, and we're going to look at the pentahydrate with five water molecules around it, which is often the way we find it. So let's first figure out the number of atoms in sodium thiosulfate. So for sodium thiosulfate, let's write the elements, Na, S, and O. For the sodium, we have two atoms. For the sulfur, we have two. And the oxygen, we have three. So we have a total of seven atoms here in sodium thiosulfate. For the water, we would have hydrogen and oxygen. And the two, that means two hydrogens. It's not written, but we assume the subscript on the oxygen to be one, one. So we have three, and we're gonna multiply this times five, because this five, it means we have five water molecules, and they're around the sodium thiosulfate. So if we do that, we have five times three, 15, plus over here, we have seven. So 15 plus seven. Overall, we have 22 atoms in sodium thiosulfate pentahydrate. Occasionally, you'll be asked to figure out how many atoms of, say, sodium there are in one mole of this sodium thiosulfate pentahydrate. So the way we do that is we'll multiply the two times Avogadro's number. So two times Avogadro's number, that'll give us the number of sodium atoms in one mole of sodium thiosulfate pentahydrate. The sulfur, that would just be the same thing since we have two. And for the oxygen, to figure out the number of oxygen atoms in one mole of sodium thiosulfate pentahydrate, we'd multiply three times Avogadro's number. If you were asked to figure out the number of hydrogen atoms, you would multiply the number of hydrogen atoms, which is 10 times Avogadro's number, or for oxygens, we have one times five. We have five oxygens, multiply that by Avogadro's number. This is Dr. B, the number of atoms in Na2S2O3 pentahydrate. Thanks for watching.